Good morning. Off to the gym. Not gonna lie, I'm still very sleepy. Kind of still want to be in bed, but I'm gonna go to the gym and work out. It's a lower body day today. Yeah, I got some deadlifts, uh, RDLs, and some intervals with a bunch of barbell movements. So it'll be fun. Just gotta start. Now that I've been training early in the morning, I'm not eating necessarily before I work out. I just there's not enough time between the time I wake up and the time I start working out. And I really don't like working out on a full stomach, especially when I'm doing these interval things like you'll see, it would just not be a good mix. Um, so first things first, when I wake up, water with some lemon, um, try to drink as much as I can on my way to the gym. And then during my workout, I'll have um, some amino matrix. So I'll drink that through the workout. That way I'm not getting hungry through the workout, but then by the time I'm done training, um, then it'll be time eat breakfast and I'll be nice and hungry by then but also going to be getting coffee so water coffee aminos and then we're good so I just realized I don't have a hair tie oh no I'm gonna see if I have one in my bag do you think I would oh no I'm in a rubber band okay well better than nothing not great for my hair but it's gonna have to do Rubber band will do. All right, so warm up, like specific warm up for my knee is done. Did like my extension stuff, a little bit of biking, rolling out my quads. Cause especially if my quads are tight, my knees will very much feel it. So did that. Now we're gonna get started on the hybrid warm up. So we'll warm up, deadlifts, uh, front foot elevated split squats, um, intervals, and then some accessory work. I'll have Connor put it up here as I'm going. Thank you, Connor. Hey guys, so it is much later. I'm sorry my battery died at the gym, which is kind of surprising. It was fully charged and then I went to the gym. Maybe I just left my camera running for longer than I thought, but normally even then it doesn't die this fast. But anyways, finished up with some single leg back extensions or back raises and then some sorens and holds and so did that. That was a lot of fun. That's the first time I've done like actual barbell cycling in years and it felt amazing and my knee felt really good and which is just awesome and this week we're actually gonna integrate jumping and plyos back in so but this go around i learned my lesson i'm gonna not try to do all the things like at the same time just like add in additional things uh incrementally as we go through but i just get excited and i want to do it all yeah so that was really good um just finishing up work here went on a walk um still getting my 10k steps in a day so went on a like a lunch walk it is very hot right now so my second walk because i'm at like 6500 steps so i need a little bit more 
So I'm actually gonna walk on a treadmill <laughs> because I just don't wanna be out in the sun right now. I already got my sun time. It's good to get sun time. Sun exposure is good, but I just don't wanna be out in the sun anymore today. So I'm gonna walk inside and then do some like mobility work and stuff. Um, but then, yeah, I'll see you guys after that. Actually, I'll bring you guys along. I'm just gonna do some walking and then mobility for um, my knee. And then I've also found that um, my coach Ian had a great suggestion. So my elbow's been feeling a ton better. Um, obviously, like taking care of my tricep, forearm, flossing that has helped a lot, but really opening up my right lat, because it was my right elbow, my right lat, um, and shoulder has helped a ton. Just goes to show, and I mean, I know this, but like sometimes wherever you're feeling tightness, achiness, like usually like it's not that exact place that it's coming from. It's probably something else just like, I don't know, sometimes your low back hurts. It might not be that your low back's super tight. It might be that your hips are super tight. And like, you know, you guys know, but yeah. So that's helped me a ton. So I'm gonna be just opening up um, my lats, uh, my shoulders, also my other side, so this side doesn't want to get out on me, so we gotta take care of it too. Um, but yeah, so let's go do that. Right, so mobility is all done, and I also was filming um, a short clip uh, for my hybrid body peeps, uh, an alternative to the barbell clusters that I did this morning, so that's on day 53. So if you're at that or that's coming up, just know that that's, there's a dumbbell option. So the dumbbell option is a hang, hang cluster, so you go, like hang into a squat clean to overhead. That's just a nice option, especially if you aren't super comfortable with the clean. Um, also, if you don't have a bunch of barbells, like that, for those intervals in particular, um, you don't need both of those barbells to get a good workout. Um, so if you have one barbell, you can use it on either the deadlift or um, it starts out with front squats and progresses through, but um, you can definitely mix and match. Um, you can, if you'd like to go, I mean, I, if I was going to choose, I would keep, um, I would go dumbbell on the clusters or thrusters, just because it is a lighter weight, and then just keep the barbell for the deadlifts, because it is supposed to be a tiny bit heavier. Um, but if you want to do dumbbell deadlifts or even kettlebell deadlifts instead, you totally can. That was just an awesome, morning and a uh, way to start the week. Um, it's pretty wild that uh, my anniversary of tearing my ACL was um, a year ago, two days ago. Wild, because it feels so much further away than that. And it's crazy that I was sitting right here not too long ago telling you guys about it. Um, and man, just feeling like kind of a mess, um, to be honest, and was definitely pretty down um, and had no idea what this year had in store. Um, not that I could even, you know, think that far out. I was just like very, very much one day at a time. Um, but, you know, it was very much like up in the air of like my athletic career and um, I hadn't, uh, yeah, I hadn't started like working in data analytics yet. And so it was just, yeah, like a ton has changed um, within that year and I, yeah, am so appreciative and grateful for it all. And so yeah, like this morning, I haven't done barbell cycling like that um, since and even before that, because that just was a part of my training for bobsledding. So it just like I felt at home, as corny as that sounds, um, 
and I just really enjoy that stuff and I love that uh, my program with hybrid like allows me to still do that kind of stuff and like it's still integrated in there so there's still like you know that crossfitty ness in there um, and uh, yeah it was just a lot of fun and um, yeah and also just like kind of checked myself a little bit because I feel like the last few days like to be honest like have been <laughs> just hard getting out of bed and going to the gym and yeah just reminding myself that like man like a year ago um, I would have killed to like you know be tired and still going to the gym I'm <laughs> like you know I would have given anything to be able to squat and like all that stuff so yeah just remembering that you know it's um, it's a real blessing to get to just show up each day even if like showing up doesn't mean you can't you know be like crushing PRs and all that stuff like it's not what it's all about but um, yeah this morning was a lot of fun I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day, awesome week. I'll see you in the next one.